what is the recommended or suggested way by which financial institutions, whether you are a VC or a debt or a bank or a philanthropic uh, organization providing grants, in case you are interested in a model and want to uh, fund some of our ventures. In a very simple way, uh, last four to five years, we have uh, uh, interacted with so many organizations uh, uh, across uh, even global organizations all the way to local banks. And we have worked with uh, various uh, philanthropy organizations. We understand that it's a very tricky area and yes, there is a lot of funds available, but uh, the challenge is also what we have seen is it goes into a huge analysis paralysis. The process of uh, grant writing and approvals and reviews itself is just uh, straggling us because we are a very small organization. And even if we do take the money, uh, what we are realizing that even though we have a board and representatives and all, every single individual wants to directly have a, 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 a session with us and directly want to know what is happening. And uh, they all have their own dashboards and their own review mechanisms. And what has really happened is, uh, if I really look at the last four to five years of eFarm, almost 30-40% of our time has gone and just writing proposals and presentations. Another 30% of our time has just gone and just uh, answering questions to investors on what is the progress and what is happening. So in summary, what has happened is we really have not been able to focus on the work. And uh, so we are uh, clearly uh, taking a, a clear line uh, at this point uh, because that is why we started eFarm4 and that is why you are investing in eFarm4. So what we are going to do uh, in future is very simple. Suppose you are a grant organization or a debt organization and you have certain amount of funds available. You choose a set of uh, area uh, uh, for where your farmers are located or a certain geography where you are uh, currently operational. You decide say whether you want to subscribe because typically when we want to do a subscription, yes we have free trials and all that but yes uh, getting them on to a paid version is always a little tricky because uh, you know uh, they are not used to these kind of things. So you can help us by first saying okay the first 100 I will sponsor, the first 500 people I will sponsor and uh, so let's see for the first uh, 3 months because it's always a, a new pilot area and uh, whatever data we have, the dash dashboard is available to you. You will be provided a login ID and password. You can directly go and talk to the farmers for any impact. Instead of asking me, it is better you directly ask your own community how is the impact and if you see any impact and whatever uh, impact metrics you want to apply, you apply it uh, right there in front of you. Yes, there are some standard metrics which we do share, not just with you, with all organizations, but anything beyond that, uh, it, it will be a customized thing and we need to uh, cost it and uh, you know, appoint somebody to do that for you. But that way, we feel that uh, the funding you are making is not to e-farm, but actually directly to a farmer who automatically has to be subscribed into e-farm in order to see the benefits which is happening. So that way, uh, financially, I'm not obligated directly to you. And uh, you know, it makes the whole process much more simpler because me being a, uh, we being a, a private limited company, I know that there are a lot of uh, uh, legal hassles in terms of uh, putting funds into a private limited versus say an NGO or a non-profit. So we feel that this is a better model uh, going forward. It's more easy to scale and you can put as much as you want, whenever you want. At the end of the day, it is like uh, paying for a mobile phone service and top up. So if you are not comfortable, you just stop paying the top up and uh, that's the end of story. So instead of investing in a company and then seeing the results and then we are depending on the grant for renewals, there is no renewals, no nothing. And that way, like this is a much more flexible model for us to work with any organization anywhere at this point. Of course, given the scope that uh, we are also limited to certain areas uh, where our focus is going to be. Uh, in case you are a VC, uh, whether a social VC or a regular VC, uh, looking at the technology side or the social impact side, uh, once again in our existing board we have uh, two fantastic uh, guys whom I strongly recommend. One is of course Karthik Reddy uh, from Bloom Ventures, uh, who is not only the lead investor but also uh, a financial advisor. Second is Sasha Mirchandani, a lot of you know him. Uh, he's the one who founded Mumbai Angels and also has Sky Capital. The reason why I'm mentioning these two gentlemen is in the last four to five years, we have met all of you. I'd be surprised if any of you don't know me personally or me and Wally or uh, have not come to my office and been abused by me uh, for various reasons. I, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. I've already told you the reasons why uh, things have been uh, on a boiling point. Uh, but at least th these two gentlemen were able to predict what eFarm is going to be even five years ahead and uh, even today their vision and uh, it, it's their uh, 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 thing which we are actually falling upon and a lot of their guidance has been uh, very very 
uh, closely uh, accurate in terms of uh, sometimes like you know we do have arguments and all that so they know how much leash to give when to pull and when to push us uh, and we have a over the four, four to five years we've worked into a nice rhythm of working so we don't want to upset the cart right now so any investment uh, you want to make please do make into these organizations and uh, channel it through them because they are a little bit more professional in handling uh, VCs like you and in terms of metrics and dashboards since they are already running a fund uh, they will be in a better position to answer a lot of your uh, queries especially from a financial nature and internally since they are all sitting on a board so we are answerable to them and any funds which uh, is, is coming through them uh, they already know how the utilization is happening and what exactly and where it is, things are going and uh, very frankly like we are not looking at uh, million dollars and billion dollar kind of funding we want to take it in small chunks show some traction, show some growth, prove the model uh, at each stage and then come back to the market based on uh, mutual expectations and uh, take it forward from there. So yes, uh, even though I might have seemed a little negative in my other videos in terms of not wanting funds, uh, but the thing is yes, we do want funds from the right sources in the right channels so that all of us uh, can continue to focus on what we do best and uh, you know, take it forward from there.